프로세스로 떠납니다. 다운 here in the bottom left in purple, the foreign hope, the Polish Zerg, it is Nurcio. There he is, uh, of course, playing for Euronix. He's pumped up with all of his Red Bull gear on there as well as the hopes and dreams of fans across the world. Fans here, though, in Korea, of course, cheering for Maru. Very, very popular player. Insanely good. Going for, uh, again, this early gas uh, opening. For Maru, obviously, less is on the line when it comes to BlizzCon uh, and then Classic. You know, Classic losing that match to Maru means he will not be going. Maru's not going no matter what, even if he gets first place in this tournament. So for him, this is about advancing to the round of eight, firstly, for and foremost. Secondly, the money jump up that you get in prize money for the round of eight and then the, the ability to continue on in the tournament. Well, I think number three, at this moment in time, in this particular game, something he's thinking about is Korean pride to defeat a foreign player. And I think that Nurcio has the same sort of mind as well. He's going, you know, to BlizzCon, he's he's looking at this like, okay, uh, I, I, I'm gonna prove that foreigners can beat champions. I beat Classic, I beat, if I beat Maru here, I've defeated two Korean champions of two different races in the same group. And it's, it's really interesting to think because there's nothing about like, as we face this Korean versus foreigner matchup, there's nothing about like the humanity of these two players that makes one better than the other. Uh, it's like Mewtwo. It's what you do with the life that you're given that makes uh, the difference here. Well, Mario's done a hell of a lot with it, but Nurcio uh, coming out with so many results, uh, almost as, as an uh, opposite to Maru, who has very few, at least this season, for see that reflected in their WCS points. Nurcio, so much success in his uh, his region internationally. And then it comes to coming over here to Korea, a, a huge test. Uh, for Nurcio, he said in his opening interview today, uh, he's been playing for seven years. And out of that entire time, he's never come to Korea. Now, right. his first chance to really show, uh, show us what he's got, will it be the savior that the... Uh, Foreign hope needs. And I, I like what you pointed out earlier. Nice snipe on this tumor, actually. You pointed out earlier that Nurcio has basically been beating Koreans for years, but there's always some excuse, some right. speculation. Beating a Korean in a league offline in Korea is insane. First of all, you're not in your normal practice environment. You're not eating the food you normally eat. Uh, you're, you're, you're living out of a hotel. You're trying to find, you know, practice probably going to PC bongs. And yet still, you're beating Maru, who lives in the defending champion for Pro League's team's house. Has insane practice partners to, to work with. He can train with Rogue, for example. I mean, this is this is just unprecedented stuff, what we're seeing here. The fact that he's made it this far in the group in general and could actually defeat Maru. And Maru does delay this hatchery quite significantly with this Reaper, uh, getting the most value he has in this series with it so far. And it is going for a quick medevac this time. This is not going to be uh, the really uh, aggressive two racks uh, 16 marine push with stim. It's a marine drop early on, which is very different, very changed up from what we saw before. And Nurcio, again, he's keeping it real. You know, he's not really being too greedy. And he was having some trouble killing this Reaper, actually. Finally, we'll do it. <laughs> okay, well, that was, uh, that was a little bit uncomfortable. Reaper decided he did not want to stay around much he, longer. He might be able to force a cancel on this base with the Widow Mine here. All right, well, are coming over. Well, let's see if he can actually stop this Widow Mine. Does. Oh, uh, nice unburrow at the last second. Yeah, he wants this to either hit all the Lings or one of the Queens. Oh, that's definitely not what he wants. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that actually did more damage to Maru than it did uh, to. But he's coming Virgio. with a tank and also a Siege, or rather, a. Uh, a um, SCV in this as well to try to bunker. I think he really hardcore wants this. This is a good position on this map to start sieging up this hatchery. It's on oh the low ground God. with the minerals there. You can actually hit it. I, this I, feels very Wings of Liberty, what we're about to watch here. And, and Nurcio, you can see he's completing six drones, so maybe not as cautious against this early pressure as we've seen him be in other games. It's important oh. that SCV stays alive. He needs to make sure that he can repair that tank. Also, the medevac to keep it, uh, you know, moving forward. It's actually going to start this bunker here. Oh, he's going to lose oh. the medevac and a, a couple of things in it. Now, uh, that 
Siege Tank does have a little bit of vision of this high ground. But yeah, I think with the, a bunker. <laughs> yeah, uh, Queens will be able to clear it out. Now a scan there at the top will oh, be able to queen. kill one of the Queens. Nice. Nicely done there. Decent and amounts of damage down. No, no, no. Inertia, Inertio. you're moving the Queen forward too quickly, but just... Actually, time. I think if, if he had scanned again, he would have killed it. But at that point, you're bleeding off mules. Trade off is similar, but uh, the follow up push can be quite and, and powerful, though. Morrow in the back is going for a third base right now, expanding behind all of this insane pressure. Wow. Um, both, you know, really, both Nurtio and Neve, these end foreigners that have uh, had so much success here in groups have been so great, so tenacious against this pressure, and the Koreans they've defeated have just oh my thrown God, nothing at them. Throwing away roaches at this point that he really just cannot afford to lose. I think he's starting to feel the pressure. I think uh. he's starting to feel the nerves here. All right, this spore crawler is going to go down. I'd like to see him move that. Uh, in fact, we'll actually do a little bit of damage to the medevac there. It buys him a little bit more time. There are queens here. They need to target the medevac down ASAP, and they do. They do put Good down control a lot here, though. Of damage. Now, the queens, I guess, tanking siege tank hits in the back. There are some ravagers. Protect those. No, the key here is whether he can kill the hatchery or not, and he's starting to really put some pressure on it. It's down to about one third health. Two siege tanks in range now. The queen goes down here. Oh, uh, he may have some transfuses. I'm not sure. No, he's actually out of uh, energy on most, if not all, of those queens that will go down. New queens coming in from the side, trying to pick that up with a very low health meta back there in the back. Throws the bile starting to come down, and then a nice snipe there on one of those tanks. Uh, Scan will be forced out. There's one more mule that he does have to do, and Nurcio somehow saves this hatchery for a little bit longer. He needs to transfuse it because Moro is going to just pick up and send the tanks in and target them. So Although with these around lanes here, the yeah. Corner, and actually a nice amount of lanes running all the way around. Will he be able to take that low health tank down? Yes. yes. Just the last shot. Gets that last shot. Okay, this hatchery is still very low. I don't think he transfused it. He is just fighting with these queens tooth and nail, but Morrow is losing momentum and with this push. And now that the rocks are down, he, he can't stay here anymore. No, and Morrow might have actually overstayed his welcome. He's going to be losing meta back, picking up some of those tanks, but Morrow will actually lose a sizable amount of his army. Uh, of course, keep in mind, he does have a third base up in the back, but Nurcio finally able to just barely hold this off. Nice last money shot there by those tanks. As Morrow pulls back. Yeah, and uh, I mean, this is really impressive of, of holds that we're seeing. I don't know how many queens he lost, but it was probably like nine or something, but he's still just continued hitting his macro. He always had his queens producing, he's making them nonstop. He holds this off. Up to a fourth base now. Yeah. Uh, decent drone count, uh, even still at the end of that, and uh, a much higher army count uh, than Nurchia, or than, uh, than Mara. Oh, he's going to try to snipe his tank. Oh! I think he's going to get it. Oh my god, that queen has actually one HP. Um, let's see if he attacks here. Now, Galactic Process has a long, long, long rush distance to get across the map, so attacking here would take him quite some time. I think it's best he just sits back and defends these bases, keeps an economy up, forces Morrow to lift his main again. Okay, the tanks are going to go try to snipe this hatchery. I don't think he transfused it. We'll see if this actually works. I don't think he's going to be able to find much damage more with these tanks, though. I think it's I, I think it's actually almost unwise to continue to try to siege up this position. Oh, he's even got a double expand. He's going five Whoa. base. He knows that he held this off really hard. And that was a really hard push to hold off there by Maru, who really committed to it, lost most of his army, and now this might be the punishment that Nurcio needs to uh, you know, come back after so much early pressure. Now, I like this choice to attack this hatchery much more. Ooh, snipes and Investor. I like this much more than trying to, to kill that base over there, uh, just because the creep is already spread, the rocks are down. Um, he's not finding much damage here, but he's now got his bio with him. The Investor almost had enough energy, but not quite there. Oh. Dropping down Infested Terrans on top of the Sea Sinks. He just wants to chase this back with roaches. And uh, the Zerglings will not be enough to surround that uh, Marine Force. Pulling back there, Maru has an advanced position here, uh, and it's actually macroing incredibly well behind it. All right, pushing in here now onto this hatchery. And he's trying to get the surround here with his Roach Ravagers. He comes on the other side. A mule is dropped here as well. I'm not sure if that's the get out or if that was supposed to be a scan. It looks like Maru very confident in his current spot. He's actually up in army count. Is Dropping this mules. More mules. Dropping mules on top here. of Nurcio's forces. Corrosive Biles landing off to the back, but there's not enough, sir. GG. Maru will knock Nurcio out of the Kesma Cup. Oh, my God. God, I got so many nerd chills. Nurcio so close on the brink. Making it out of the Casper Cup, but Maru 
crushing him. You can see uh, Nurcio there on your screen right now. Narrowly knocked out. All right, let's take a look back, okay? Foreigners are competing with Koreans dead even, some of these guys, okay? Marine Lord didn't have the best showing yesterday, but he looked solid. Nurcio looked incredible today. Neeb gets out of the group 4-0. But look at the, the success rate of foreigners in this tournament. I mean, it, it, it's much higher than I think pretty much anyone would have imagined. Absolutely. And you look at the players who aren't here, guys like Showtime, guys like Snoot, incredibly powerful players out there that we don't even get to see play here tonight. We did get to see some of the best players from Korea compete and uh, incredibly impressive not to take anything away uh, from accomplishments like Marv's uh, able to advance out of this group. I really, I really think this is going to inspire more foreign pros to move to Korea. Let's break down a round of eight. Stats faces is Maru now that he got out of the group in second place. Neeb will face Pet. Ty is up against Zest, and then Patience goes up against Trap in a Protoss versus Protoss. What an incredible group stage it will or it has been. Round of eight, of course, will be uh, even just as good. Now, uh, I guess round of eight will or semifinals or semifinals will be on Sunday, and the finals will be on Monday. Cool.